ተሽቱጁማ በተለየ ሙለ ሌሎቻችሁ ሲሰማቸዋል ሲሰማቸዋል ንሽብራን አንሰማ ታለው ታምሩሽ ይበቃል እኔ አልከ ተሰማችሁ ይበቃል እንደምን አደረጃችሁ ነው ባለላ ከበራችሁ እንኳን አደረሳችሁ ይያለው በድጋሚ 15 እኔ ከኔ ውጪ 15 አካባቢ ያላችሁ ስለዚህ እንጀምርና ሌሎቹ ቀስ ይያሉ ሼር ካረጉን ጆይን ካረጉ ጆይን ያረጉናል ብለና ኦኬ ሶ ቱዴይ ዊ ዊል ስታርት ዊዝ ዘ ፎርዝ ቻፕተር ኦፍ ኦፍ ዘ ኮርስ ኦኬ ዊል ዊል ቢ ስታርቲንግ ዊዝ ዘ ፎርዝ ቻፕተር ኦፍ ዘ ኮርስ ዊች ኢዝ ሞር ኦን ኦን ዘ ሪሲቨር ሳይድ ሶ Okay so if we try to put uh things in perspective what have we seen so far okay or what we have seen so far is the following uh we started with an information source right abbreviated as uh ISO whereby the output from an information source could be either analog or it could be discrete and of course we say that whether it's analog or discrete by applying I mean if if the output is analog then uh if we band limit the signal and then take samples following the nyquist rule then we will come up with uh, some discrete sequences okay so that the output uh, from an information source uh, would be some sort of you know discrete sequences if we observe the output uh, we will have you know some samples that are occurring at at that discrete uh, intervals of time t now uh, of course the output from an information source is given as an input to a source coder or source uh, coder and of course we said that the task of the source coder is to represent the output samples in binary form in the form of zeros and ones of course this representation or mapping of samples into bit sequences has to be done in in an efficient way of course depending on the type of communication system that we have you know there would be further processing on binary domain and then eventually you know these bit sequences that are designated or represented in the form of zeros and ones they have to be converted into some sort of waveform and of course conversion of the bit sequences into waveforms is the primary task of the modulator right so at least uh, we have seen about information source uh, we have talked about source coding uh, and also we have we have talked about uh modulation escape so this is these are basically the blocks that we have seen so far of course the waveform well depending on the type of uh, medium that we have uh, the waveform sm of t would be propagated or would be sent uh through a medium and then eventually for example if we take the case of wireless sm of t would be an electromagnetic wave that would be propagated through the medium and of course on the receiver side uh we will have an antenna 
that intercepts uh, the transmitted waveform so that you know if SM of T is a transmitted waveform then R of T uh, would be the received uh, R of T would be the received waveform okay SM of T would be sent through the channel or or the medium and R of T uh, would would be received well one fact that we know for sure is that the received waveform R of T is different from the transmitted waveform SM of T this is the fact that we know what is the source of this discrepancy? What is or what are the sources of... Well, primarily the discrepancy comes because of the channel. Okay? The fact that the received waveform R of T will be different from the transmitted waveform SM of T comes from the channel. Why is that happening? Well, it's subjected to interference. Interference refers to any unwanted signal that would be uh, superimposed. Uh, as an example, you know, if there are other users that are using the same frequency band as, as, as the current user or, or transmitter, then, you know, given the fact that the wireless medium is broadcast in its nature would mean that the transmission of one is highly likely to interfere on the transmission of the other and of course that would lead to what we call an interference so interference is a signal which is coming from a set, i mean from other sources uh, it could be from other users using the same system or the interference could also come from the environment because of different effects uh, like heating um, you know because of different thermal effects unwanted signals would be superimposed on, on, on the intended signal and that's what we call interference so during transmission uh, some signals may interfere or may be superimposed on the intended signal and of course as a signal moves, as a signal or as a wave, you know, travels through a medium, then it would lose part of its energy. And that is, of course, because of the separation distance. Because of the distance, uh, the wave would, would lose part of its energy, and that's what we call attenuation. And the other fact is, of course, the medium itself would, would, would behave like a filter. Okay, the medium itself would behave like a filter. What do we mean? The medium itself will have its own bandwidth. Okay, it will have its own uh, bandwidth. And of course, the bandwidth is, is, is limited. So any signal component that falls outside the bandwidth of the channel would somehow be attenuated. And of course, or will be filtered out. And of course, that filtering would lead, would lead to what we call distortion. Well, of course, depending on the, on, on the type of medium, there are also other effects. But if we look into the aggregate effect of interference, attenuation, and distortion, if we look into the aggregate effect, we, we, we observe that the receiving form R of would be different from the transmitter or SM of T. How much is the difference? Or how much is the discrepancy between R of T and SM of T? Well, that depends on multiple factors. That depends on the degree of interference. That de depends on the level of attenuation as well as on, on, on the level of distortion. So depending on interference, attenuation, distortion, and other factors, then we know for sure that the received waveform R of T would be different from the transmitted waveform um, SM of T. So what are the blocks that we need on, on the receiver side? Of course, uh, we will see later that 
you know, the first and foremost block that we will have from the receiver side is what we call the demodulator. Well, basically, the modulator performs an inverse task of a modulator. And of course, um, well, the demodulator would be followed by what we call a detector. We'll see uh, the function of the demodulator and the detector in, in, in subsequent slides. And of course, both demodulation and detection are performed on signal levels. And the output from the modulator would be, sorry, the detector would be some binary sequences that are, you know, in the form of, of, of zeros and, and, and ones. Of course, depending on, you know, the type of different blocks that we implement on the receiver side, then we, we also need the inverse blocks. For example, if we have a channel encoder on the transmitter side, then you know a channel decoder would be would be uh, required on on the receiver side. In any way, there would be further processing on a binary domain, and then eventually binary sequences should be converted into some some sort of uh, you know. Uh, binary sequences should be converted into some sort of, um, you know, discrete signals, and eventually the discrete sig signals would be, uh, you know, converted into either analog or, or in its uh, discrete form. Anyway, we'll have an, an information sync, SI. Okay, so um, the transmitter side, uh, if you look into chapter two, it was on information source modeling and also source coding. Uh, the third chapter was primarily on the modulator side. So if you combine chapter two and chapter three, then we have some idea on, on the basic blocks from the transmitter side. So on chapter from, from now on, we would be shifting on, on the receiver side. Okay, chapter four, is fundamentally on, on the receiver side. Of course, chapter four is fundamentally on the design of an optimal filter, so which you can see from the title itself, okay? Uh, it would be on on the receiver side, and of course, it would be on, on, on the design of an optimal filter. Okay, uh, well, these are some of uh, the goals of the fourth chapter. Uh, well, the first goal is to see how design of an optimal uh, filter looks like. Okay, we will we'll be discussing on how the design of an optimal filter looks like. What do we mean by, you know, optimality? Okay, we have said that the received waveform R of T is different from the transmitted waveform SM of T. Of course, if we take the simplest type of model, which is an AWGN model, where details would be discussed later on, we will see that in the case of an AWGN channel, the received waveform R of T would be the sum of the transmitted waveform plus plus the noise. By the way, this is one type of um, channel model whereby the received waveform would be the sum of the transmitted waveform plus a noise which would be generated on, on, on the receiver side. Okay, so one fact that we know is R of T is obviously different from SM of T. Now, what is the task of a digital receiver? Okay, what is the task of a digital receiver? The task of a digital receiver is given that R of T is received. If you see from the receiver side, the waveform R of T would be received. So the task of the, the digital receiver is given R of T, it should
ሰዎች <laughs> you know the goodness of the estimate uh well we have to send as much or i mean sufficient number of information and then we try to recover and we will see the goodness or we will measure the goodness of of, of our estimate la manion gumta estimation of course if it is an estimate well there is no way that uh, we will perfectly recover all the transmitted information that's impossible there is no communication system whereby the transmitted bit sequences or for that matter the transmitted waveform sm of t would perfectly be estimated yella men da zayna tager so ya yella malet mindinno yetosena setet inoral iyaqew setetu acceptable mohon allebet well of course the 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 tolerance well koy balila nagager if 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 uh if r of t is different from sm of t then we anticipate some error so well the question is not the fact that we will we will encounter an error the fundamental question is how much would be the level of error if the level of error is small then you know different services will tolerate certain degree of error lam sali awni ya ani ya warahun hopefully bulachum ya damatachu min yahal adamtachu hal biyebel ndo qal waqal fidel wa fidel samtachu hal lo biyebel እርግጠኛ ነኝ ማንም ይሄን የሚያረጋግጥልኝ አይኖርም ቃል በቃል ፊደል በፊደል ያልኳትን በሙሉ ሰምታችኋል ብዙ ምክንያቶች አሉ ከዚህ ተነስቶ እናንተ ጋር ስኪደርስ ድረስ ኮሙኒኬሽን ውስጥ የሚኖር ሰተት አለ እናንተም ጋር ከደረሰ በኋላ የኮንሰንትሬሽን ላፕስ አለ ሁሉ ኮንሰንትሬት አድርጋችሁ ሁሉ ነገር አታዳምጡም ሶ ቃል በቃል ፊደል በፊደል አልሰማንም ብላቹ አታረጋግጡልኝ ሚያ ማለት የተወሰነ ኤራር አለ ማለት ነገር ግን የተወሰነ ኤራር አለ ማለት ክላስ አት እንዳላረኝንም ማለት ነው ወይ አልተማርንም ማለት ነው ወይ ብለን ካልን እሱ ማለት አይደለም ያ ማለት ነው ማለት ነው ኢን ፕሪንሲፕል ሲስተማችን የተወሰነ ኤራርን ቶለሬት ያረጋል አንዳንድ ችግሮች ቢመጡ ኦር ባይሰማንም ኢምፕሮቫይዝ እናረጋለን ሚሊዮን ደሚችል አምሮአችን ይሞላ አንዳንዱን ባንሰማውም ስቲል ከሰማናቸው ተነስተን ዩ ኖ ሬሌቫንት የሆኑ ኢንፎርሜሽኖችን ጭንቅላታችን ኤክስትራክት የማድረግ ካፓቢሊቲ አለው ስለዚህ እኔ አስተማርኩ ማለት እናንተ ተማራችሁ ማለት እያንዳንዱን ቃል ፊደል መስማት ማዳመጣችሁን የማረጋግጥ እኔ መላፊነት የለብኝም እናንተ ምን መስማት ግዴታ ይለባችሁ ግዴታ ብቻ ሳይሆን አቅሙም ይለም የሰው ልጅ ነው ያ ማለት ግን ትምርት አልተማረ ምንም ማላስተማርኩ እናንተ ማልተማራችሁ ማለት አይደለም ሲስተማችን የተወሰነ ኤረር ቶለሬት ያረጋል እክ እንደዛ ሁሉ ኦኬ ኮሙኒኬሽን ሲስተም ውስጥ ሆነን ስናስብ ችግር የሌለው ኤረር የሌለው ሲስተም መፍጠር አይደለም ኦብጀክቲቭ ኤራሩ as minimal as possible የሆነ ነው and that's what we mean by optimal receiver optimal receiver is a type of receiver where you know the degree of error is somehow limited okay whereby the degree of error uh, is is somehow limited is somehow tolerable is somehow acceptable of course well that depends on 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 the service type for example if you provide a voice service or if you see you know the requirements quality of service requirements for voice service 
it's usually 10 raised to minus 3. And for a multimedia service, It's about 10 raised to minus 6. So what does it mean? Each service has different quality of service or error quality of service. A service strat malet error. Error tinish kone service strat yargal. Error til kone service strat yorda. So quality of service kamila kabacho. Masfar toch andu degree of error. So different services would, would, I mean different services have you know different quality of service or error rate required. If you take the case of voice, usually any error uh, which is one out of a thousand, which is ten raised to minus three, would mean one out of a thousand or less is 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 taken as acceptable. Okay. The communication system standard on communication system design is different. Yeah, error rate hook and she and and she be touch and we in case of a touch corner he acceptably on a dim set of one of me that's so what a multimedia send the head 10 raised to minus 6 which is one out of a million one bit out of a million in error people that's taken as 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 acceptable of course uh technology game to and then my shasha which you know i'm not in a minute my mom but nigger Yang dan do service, there are so many quality of service when error rate requirement are low. There is optimal receiver design at the ambulance in the service. You meet a year on your quality of service requirement in your mala receiver mallet action. And the error zero honor mallet idle now. Okay, so the focus of this chapter is on the design of optimal receiver. Of course, time and again, we would be defining what we mean by, by optimality. Okay, so one goal is to see the design of optimal receiver. Of course, we would be taking the fact that, you know, various modulation techniques would be used from the transmitter side. And of course, of all the available channel models, our focus would be on, on AWGN uh, channels. Okay, we would be uh, taking the fact that uh, we have an AWGN uh, in China. So this is the definition of optimality. Optimality would mean minimizing the probability of, of transmission error. Okay, he will minimize my drug now. Okay, optimal mallet. Optimal. Maximal Adalam, Minimal Adalam, Optimal. Okay, Maximal Malam Sali Error and the Tam as minimal as possible in another Gibbon. Benmoker Postal, Wagas Kafla. Okay, Wagas Kafla. So Optimal Noblan Sunil. Yet I'm at the Naval. The service to Yemivaka, service to Lemaster, Yemias chill and the wallet are got you as soon. Okay, so with that sort of quick remark, well, this is how well the, at least the chapter is, is organized. So the first part would be on the design of receivers, and then later on, we would be talking about performance issue, how good you know, a receiver would, would perform, and then we'll see comparison of different modulation schemes. Uh, yeah, th this is a name in nature, design of receiver, performance of receiver, and then later on comparison of different modulation schemes. So let's, uh, under, under the design of receiver part, well, there are two blocks, uh, the demodulator, there are two types of demodulator and, and detector. So focus are on the demodulator and, and, and on the detector side. Okay. Now consider the following block diagram representation, uh, whereby 
from the transmitter side, uh, we'll have, you know, the modulated waveform SM of T, uh, so that SM of T, which is the output from a modulator, is sent uh, through a channel, okay, whereby we have a channel here, uh, and then at the receiver side, a waveform R of T uh, would be would be received. So, uh, well, the received signal is, is designated as R of T, and of course, we have two blocks, demodulator and the detector part. We will see the function of the demodulator as well as the detector uh, later on. Now, let's take a specific case. Okay, let's consider a very specific case that the channel does not introduce any distortion or, or, or any change. Yes, I don't know the matter. Assume that the channel is ideal and it does not bring or introduce any change. So what does it mean? If the channel does not bring in any change, then the received waveform R of T would be the same as the transmitted waveform SM of T. Well, this is an ideal case, but you know, we will, we will, do, well, we will first start with such an ideal assumption, and then later on, uh, we will see well, we will build on such an idealized assumption. Okay, so a waveform um, R of T would be uh, would be received. Uh, then we have a demodulator block plus a detector block, and then eventually we'll have sequence of strings or bits uh, that are coming out of of of, of the detector. Now. In such an ideal case, how would the receiver structure looks like? How would the receiver structure looks like? Well, for the design of the receiver, we have to exploit the way how we design the modulated waveform. Let me take you back. If you recall, in chapter three, we say that any modulated waveform can be written as a linear combination of some basis functions. Blend number. Any modulated waveform from a mathematical standpoint can be written as a linear combination of some basis functions. In other words, a modulated waveform can be generated by linearly combining some basis functions. Of course, we have also said that these basis functions are the same. I mean, if you if you see the basis functions in each and every symbol interval, the basis functions would remain the same. However, the weighting coefficient, you know, the coefficients that would multiply the basis functions would differ from in, in each uh, symbol interval. Why? Because the weighting coefficients are generated from the information sequence. So, we start with the information sequence, and then from the information sequence, we generate the weighting functions, uh, sorry, the, the weighting coefficients, and the weighting, based on the weighting, the weighting coefficients would multiply each of the basis functions, we take the summation, and that would give us the modulated waveform SM of T. I think your modulated waveform, you will let basis function which, at least by an actual level amplitude, the PSK, the QAM, MPSK, the QAM modulation scheme which, let at most let basis function which no ralu, and then basis function which, yabazam bundamur. Modulated waveform is at an album. A mina baza batch of option to the mook information sequence. Unu. There's information on the general with the waiting option to map Naragala, the waiting option to Tanestan, Nasu, basis function of Tuna Basto, send the mer modulated waveform is at an album. 
So what does it mean? Uh, we will have two coefficients designated as SM1 and SM2. How do we how do we arrive at SM1 and SM2? Well, that's from the information sequence. Here, Kate Metabol and Kalen, information sequence to Yemi Metanagar. Okay, so from the information sequence, or we map the binary bits into some coefficients SM1 and SM2. Okay, so what we do is SM1 uh, would be weighted by basis coefficients or the basis coefficient SM1 times uh, F1 of T, SM of M, this would multiply the second basis function S2 of T, and then we take the summation that would give us the modulated waveform SM of T, right? Of course, this modulated waveform, if we write it mathematically, it's the summation of SMI into FI of T for i ranging from 1 up to up to 2 okay so minimal you know information sequence on was sudden yeah information sequence uh, sm1 and sm2 ni satanal sm1 and sm2 the waiting man the basis function of the vasto modulated wave form is that an algo? So, so what do we do on the receiver side? On the receiver side, we have the received waveform R of T, which is the same as SM of T. Now, from the transmitter side, I mean, one of the our requirement would be to map the bit sequences into waveform. In between the map, bit of chimetalu waveform is in chimeta. As soon as we are going to map bit of chun, whether the quotient of chun is here, quotient of chun, basis function of chun is basta, whether waveform is here. So functionally, kai no transmitter us ra bit sequence and whether waveform is here. The receiver us ra is inverse waveform. What a bit sequence material and it's not an aragon. Well, we, we just exploit the property that 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 we have. Uh, I mean, we just we, we will be exploiting the orthogonality property. Okay. Um, well, we have we have said that the basis functions are orthogonal and we can exploit the orthogonality property. How? If given R of T, if we project R of T on each of the basis functions, okay, if R of T is projected on F1 of T, well, we know that the projection of R of T on S1 of T would give the coefficient SM1, and the projection of R of T on the second basis functions F2 of T would definitely generate SM2. Okay, so this way we can easily recover the coefficients and of course these coefficients would further be mapped into into uh, into into the bit sequence. Okay. Orthogonality, slow orthogonality our run on a bit sequence or the coefficient to make a year, has a orthogonal basis function of Kalu, Nasun Yabaz and Demron, wave form of that. Minimum set at the transmission error Kalila, it's a couple of wave form, a Yandam basis function that was the project of Narago, option to tune it at analog, option to tune with a bit sequence, 
ዲማፕ ማድረግ ይቻላል ኤግዛክትሊ ሞጁል ተራ ላይ ቤዝ ባንድ ሌቨል ላይ የተጠቀሙበትን ህግ እዚህሱ ኢንቨርስ ኦፕሬሽን መስራት ማለት ነው so what do we observe here actually we we are performing correlation right we correlate the received waveform r of t on each of the I mean, projecting r of t on the on each of the basis functions would mean you know measuring the degree of correlation between the received waveform r of t and each of the basis functions designated as uh, fi of t so performing correlation is is basically a demodulation operation of course we have seen different types of modulation schemes uh, for example if we take the case of pulse amplitude modulation we know that pulse amplitude modulation is one dimensional one so so that sm1 would be am and sm2 would be zero right we have said repeatedly that pulse amplitude modulation is a one dimensional modulation and basis function lerayo you know, basis function be zero on the mid bas argan masab inchilalen beza gize sm1 would be am and sm2 would be zero la psk na la qua morali sela tsafnacho nessun mayet techilalacho so what is our conclusion here one of our conclusion here is um in the absence of any distortion in the absence of any interference uh during transmission then re recovering the information sequence can be implemented by performing correlation of the received waveform r of t which is with each of the the the, the, the orthogonal basis functions okay in the matrix magnet in chilalen okay so say type of a receiver is say type of a demodulator is what we call a correlative type demodulator okay is is what we call a correlative type demodulator and how do you uh, perform correlation correlation is performed via an inner product operation if you look into the coefficient smi it's computed by taking the inner product between uh okay uh yandandu let me erase this part so by the this is an 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 inner product an inner product operation okay correlation is is performed via inner product operation it's yand and by semi r of t okay is you start on your surround no s m of t is the same as r of t will understand so it yeah you take a balloon with form ከያንዳንዱ basis function ጋር inner product and compute another ያንዳንዱ coefficient ይሰጠናል okay so this is what you have on on the first bullet point the data can be recovered on a component by component basis taking inner product of the received signal and each of the basis functions okay by taking the inner product of the received signal r of t and each of the basis functions that are designated as f i of t so this is how mathematically an inner product 
operation is 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 performing ikerta ye variable law tale x k x of t f k lal mazahafu la endeza silhone no enante bezi menger teradut ehe x k malet coefficient u sm i bilen men nasqemtaw no x of t malet sm of t no f k of t i think basis function o chu nachaw no lemaniyo such type of receiver is what we call uh, a correlative type not receiver demodulator so as a demodulator aynet minim aynet noise minor kahona yetekebelo waveform r of t correlation no milaka okay correlation malakat malat wala fon da yeno inner product operation okay inner product tun isara malat inner product malat demo ulatun malat ye hulat functionoch inner product malat ulatun abasta integrate madregno integrate menaregno over over a symbol interval no bemi katelo symbol lai okay sm etekeyera no mi namanino over a symbol interval abasta integrate menareg kehi sawanzar inner product wesede no inner product correlation in lakal endezi aynatu demodulator correlative type demodulator ibala correlative type demodulator ibala now what is an alternative way of implementing a correlative type demodulator okay so the such an integral can alternatively be implemented in the following way okay the correlation between x of t and a basis function f k of t is given by such 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 uh, an integral okay so this is a function that measures uh correlation kala ya ya no no correlation no and it tagenya kalun via inner product Okay, so it's uh, product dimensional in English. Tana buto luala nda tchekero. Pro. Okay, so this is an inner an inner product operation. So from a mathematical standpoint, such an inner product operation can alternatively be implemented via such such an operation so what do we have here so you know the correlation between x of t and the basis function f k of t can alternatively be implemented by taking uh, or you know by via a convolution operation between x of t which is the waveform and fk of capital t minus t how do you get or what is capital uh, fk of capital t minus t if you start with a basis function fk if you start with fk of t and then if you flip it in time you will get fk of minus t are and function binoral f of t kahona be look in the flip in a rego malet no along the y axis flip maray malet be hisab konqwa kaye no f of minus t bonal malet okay look f of minus t in a rego function along the y axis indezi igelebetal inda malet kazehin yetegelebeta bohono constant indezi slide in a rego inchilalen wem shift in a rego inchilalen and then you can shift it by 
a time t so that you would get f of okay so f k of t minus capital t minus t is actually the result of flipping the function and then shifting it by a, a time t which is actually a symbol time so mini yellow no one no hasa the, the inner product operation can alternatively be implemented via a convolutional operation. So the convolution between x of t and, of course, a modified version of f k of t, f k of t sound, the f k flipped and shifted conversion convolution binsara, case I want to to collage on a boala, newala, and cone slide which boala, and it in the and now so if you convolve x of t with a flipped and shifted version of f k of t then that's equivalent to performing an inner product operation of course from from our earlier studies uh, we know that such an this is a filtering operation right this is filtering operation Minimal If you start with x of t, and then if you have a filter whose impulse response h of t is given as f k of capital T minus t, then oh. Okay, if you have such a filter, then the output of, of the filter is nothing but the input x of t convolved with the impulse response h of t. Okay? Here output mallet, your filtering operation would take no, no. So what do we have here? An alternative way of implementing an inner product operation or an alternative way of implementing a correlation operation is via filtering. So what this equation suggests us is that you start with the received waveform R of T and then you filter it via a filter and the output from the filter is the same as the output from a correlator. A filter with minor output and like a correlator with minor output which will turn and I net natural. Of course, filter on net design are in blank color. Filter on design in a way the basis function which will get to understand them. Okay, you filter impulse response h of t can basis function or to look at an extent. Yandan will basis function, flip here again, shift the narrative, you mean or function, you filter impulse response. Yana. So, can basis function look at an extent, filter design the narrative, and now you take a balloon with form, but that filters the narrative, you mean or output, can correlate to the mean or output. Ka. <coughs> So this gives rise to a second and alternative way of implementing the demodulator and such type of a demodulator is termed to be a matched filter demodulator. Okay, such type of a demodulator is termed to be a matched filter uh, demodulator. Let me use a different color here. Okay, so now we have two options. Let me take, let me summarize it. From the demodulator side, assuming that we have an ideal channel, then there are two ways of implementing the demodulator. One is via uh, a correlation operation whereby we take the correlation between the received waveform 
and each of the basis functions. And the resulting demodulator is termed to be a correlated type demodulator. An alternative to that is we can filter the received waveform R of T via a filter. And, 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 and the resulting demodulator is, is termed to be a matched filter type demodulator. Of course, how do we design the filter? We design the filter based on our knowledge from the basis functions. Okay, the filter is designed based on our knowledge of, of the basis functions. So there are two ways of implementing the demodulator. A correlative type demodulator and also a matched filter type demodulator. As Kauni Aurat has some built in us to confirm our building. As some built in us, we take a telachino. Allah to have run. Petalim, Allah built in us. Yellow churches. Aye, Bran, Juma, Janil, Avara, Sarim, Catalusti, Muli, Allah to Lilo Church who builds an up. Asrasavat said Tain Alena. Asrasavat to confirmation still the big Dereji. Aziz Alish. Hello. Fatia, Mush, Avara, Arsema, Aziza, Betalim, Brahan, Daniel, Dereji, Fatia, Kedis, Muli, Charim, Talo, Tamru, Taye, Sion, Tujuma. Can Antos to confirm me a Laragal, Gilsal Hona? Kedis Fatia, she. Good to know. So, who let tiny TD modulator I know to Charlun and Milon and Niazan Nangata? Okay, um, now the above two meters, i.e., correlative type and uh, matched filter type, they can accurately recover. Uh, okay, so both the match the filter type and correlative type demodulator, they can accurately recover the original information sequence uh, in the absence of any nuisance or in the ideal case. Yeah, we are focus. Uh, Right, let me see the channel of the Nara. The Dum Sara on a Bora. Transmission lie. You may have noise. Plus interference. So both noise and interference, these are unwanted signals. Interference, frequency, frequency, he side logo to a little number. Side logo to them, sorry, go logo, multiplex yaragans in Madame Zoroch, Zorochen, a side logo with a line of user regard. So, beside logo me met Aligonichelan, when wireless systems in the Lotamas as a frequency, Bamatak and me met Aligonichelan, when Kazi environment to lie, external source of channel, I'm sorry. Motors in NASA. Hmm? Um, where the more betus the uh, television where electronics are 
ካላችሁ ነው ሞተር ነገር ቡና መፍጫ ጁስ ማሽን ሲነሳ ቲቪ ላይ ምታፍ ነገር አለ ኦፍ ኮርስ አሁን ዲጂታሎቹ በጣም ኪ ፊልተሪንግ ሰርኪዩታቸው በጣም አሪፍ ስለሆነ አሁን አሁን አንዴ ነው እንግዲህ በፊት የነበሩ አናሎግ ቴሌቪዥኖች ላይ ብንመለከተው ልክ ማሽን ሲነሳ ቲቪ ላይ ምን ነው ነገር አለ ነኝ አይነት ኤክስተርናል ሲግናሎች ናቸው ኖይዝ ብለን የምንለው አንድ ፕራይመሪ አንድ ሪሲቨር ሲሰራ ይሞቃል ሳይ ስልክ ቢኖር ስልክ ሬጂም ሰዓት ስናወራበት ይሞቃል ሞቃ ማለት ምን ማለት ነው ኢንተርናል ሰርኪዩት ውስጥ ሆነን ብንመለከተው የሆኑ ኤሌክትሮኖች በሞቀት ምክንያት ራንደምሊ መንከሳቀስ ይጀምራሉ ኦኬ ቮልቴጅ ሲሰጥ እኛ ኤክስፔክት ምናረገው ኤሌክትሮኖች በሆነ ዳይሬክሽን እንዲሄዱ ነው የሰጠነውን ቮልቴጅ ማግኒቲዩድ እና ፖላሪቲ ተከትለው እንዲንከሳቀሱን ኤክስፔክት ምናረገው የሙከት በሚኖርበት ጊዜ ከኤሌክትሮኒክ ኮምፖነንቶች ውስጥ ራንደምሊ ጀነሬት የሚደረጉ ኤሌክትሮኖች አሉ በነሱ ነሱ ካየናቸው እንደ ኖይዝ ተብሎ ይታሰባል ሶ ኖይዝ ፋንዳሜንታሊ ከተርማል ነው ወይ ዶሚናንት የሆነው ኖይዝ ተርማል ኖይዝ ይባላል ሪሲቨሮች ሲሰሩ ሲሰሩ ይሞቃሉ በመሞቃቸው ምክንያት የሚፈጠር አላስፈላጊ የኤሌክትሮኖች ሙቭመንት ኖይዝን ይፈጥራል ኢንተርፌረንስ ከሌላ ሶርስ ወይ በአጀሰን ቻናል ወይ በተመሳሳይ ኮ ቻናል ሆኖ ተመሳሳይ ቻናል ሆኖ የሚመጣ ጣልቃ ገብነት ወይ ከሌላ ኤክስተርናል ሶርሶች እንደ ሞተር እንደ መሳሰሉት አይነቶች የሚመጣ ሲናዩ ኢንተርፌረንስ ይባላል ኦፍ ኮርስ ሶ ይሄ ከሶርሳቸው አንጻር ሆነን ካየነው ነው from a modeling perspective or at least from a mathematical standpoint um both uh noise and interference are assumed to be sort of additive i.e they would superimpose on 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 the signal so during transmission uh, there is a chance that noise and interference would be superimposed as i said during transmission there will also be attenuation okay so attenuation refers to uh, loss of energy so because of attenuation you know the received signal will somehow decay in an inverse manner uh, to distance d okay I think ይሄ ነው ረዳት ካላ ነው ለምሳሌ ያወራን በመሐከላችን ርቀት እየጨመረ ሲመጣ መደማመት ይከብደናል ጆሮ ሪሲቨር ነው ብለም ነው ደሞ ብለን ማሰብ ሳይሆን ጆሮአችንን እንዳንደ ሪሲቨር ብንወስደው የ የሚናገረው ሰው ከኛ በራቀ ቁጥር እናዳምጠው ነገር ይቀንሳል የሚቀንሰው ምንድነው ከላኪው ወይም ከትራንስሚተሩ ወይም በሚጠበት ጊዜ በርቀት ምክንያት ኢነርጂው ሉዝ ያረገ ስለይመጣ ነው። አ ኦፍ ኮርስ አ देयर इज आल्सो व्हाट वी कॉल डिस्टॉर्शन አ ዲስቶርሽን ፕራይመሪሊ በባንድዊዝ ሚስ ሚስ ማች የሚመጣ ነው ኢን ኤኒ ኬስ አንድ ኦፍ ኮርስ ዊ ዊል ሃቭ አልሶ ፌዲንግ in in particular in wireless channel well you can take fading as a variant of distortion uh well it's also self interference anyway we don't need to go into 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 the detail but our focus would be on a channel which is subject to both noise and interference of course we would consider both the noise and the interference as noise okay so our 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 focus or our concern is uh will be assuming that during transmission a noise would would somehow be uh superimposed okay so we will see later on that if the transmitted waveform is sm of t and then if we have an awgn channel 
AWG and stands for additive white Gaussian noise channel. Then we will have the received waveform R, R of T. Uh, we will see in the next slide what we mean by 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 an AWG channel. after channel impairment transmission noise not a saving miracle here course not here course here part of course kazawala yes i don't want that each other so ideal no blank at the metal much the filter and a correlation type the modulator as well again then ideal will not go now mineral noise which channel blend the nasa and it your receiver design and it had a boy clear on you know uh, that's the objective. So in chapters and uh, our, our, our channel model or the way how we visualize the effect of the channel is that we would be considering that there would be a noise N of T. And of course, this noise N of T will have certain properties which we will explain, which I will explain in the next slide. Uh, so we'll be taking the fact that there is only noise in the effect of the lambda the layout. Greece, Tamil cinema, Kakak Alal, what are we supposed to know? Minimal number, noise which are binor, Zalai pinion binor, Zalai distortion binor, Zalai feeling which are Maria Tavalano, Yadaga, 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 Yami, Madame. Okay, so with that. Uh, with that, with that remark, uh, so the channel model for an AWGN, so uh, we start with the transmitted waveform SM of T, and then we'll have the received waveform R of T. So in an AWGN channel, the received waveform R of T would be an algebraic sum of the transmitted waveform SM of T and the noise term N of T. So now, what does AWG stand for? Or what does additive white Gaussian? So there are three key things that we, we shall note. One, the N of T is additive. So by additive, we mean that the received waveform SM of T is the sum of S, Sorry, the, the received waveform R of T is the sum of SM of T plus uh, R of T. No, no, plus N of T, where N of T is the noise. So the term additive refers to the fact that the noise would be added or superimposed on 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 the signal n of t hengidi uh, model no noise and model scenario signal ulai superimposed di hona li demeral tablo no mitasebo uletem le menager noise rasu ne chala and signal e my fellow signal e my fellow signal lemsale be interference kasebo no antenna ulai antenna dem yone device okay za frequency antenna operate miyarege but Frequency, like a long signal, boom, 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 Receiver like a babola, a thermal noise, but thermal noise, mechanically fatal signal noise, unwanted on a signal, so signal, a mean fellow, yet a couple no light at Tatakalagronomy metal. Okay, so Kaisa Savi additive now a Milon Nagar, I think, into account Moser now. The second fact. Okay, the second fact is that this noise is uh, here to go in the zafo. Okay, second fact, the noise is 
Uh, wait. The second fact is the noise is white. Minimal if no white noise no. Well, white noise no mallet. It spans the entire frequency range mallet. So if we are to plot the power spectral density versus frequency, the power spectral density of the noise phi n in of w then what we will see is that it's, it would be a color the power spectral density uh, would be would be a constant okay so when we say that noise is 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 white national of course white color yahulun color وهيد تدرجون على المتعسبه السبيكترال يبنى لها عن خلرن وده سبيكترال كومبوننت وشي اللي وايت كلر مالت ونج كلر يبزو يهولون كلروش دبلك وندمرن وطبلون المتعسبه لكن ده زعو هلو ينويز وايت نو تبلو سيبال يوايت ينويز ان سبيكترام كاينو نويز هلون سبيكترام وش لا ينوار Okay, whole new spectrum which like linear is that when you know the spectrum, can you know whole new is that? Yeah, my let power spectral density um be nayo. The blue is more than the other one constant. Yeah, constant power spectral density. My let the the frequency axis is nayo. Whole new frequency which are you my let? Okay, whole new frequency which are. So noise random no. Random no sumbo halam at ang pagkalo. Noise spectrum kayeno, hulu spectrum much halu bertno. That's what we mean by 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 noise. Okay, so um, usually we expect that the power spectral density to be to be to be uh, to be to be to be constant. Okay, so that's the requirement to to be to be white. So when we say white. We are referring that the noise would span the entire the entire uh, frequencies. Okay, uh, noise spans or span all frequencies. Okay, so that's that's uh, the requirement uh, for 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 being for being white. Of course, I don't know the display camera actually or not. Color the noise in or color the noise mallet basically noise will bind limit color. Noise will bohona the filtering operation when bohona processing bind limit color. You mean minor noise color the noise di pala. I guess the display. White noise no katawalagan, hulunu minus ya frequency interval no chin ya as a ya katata now and the maletum. Now the third property is of course we agree that let me use a different color here. The third noise is random in its nature. Okay, random. We don't have any idea what the source of noise, what the source of noises are, and we don't have any idea on the amount of noise which is being generated by 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 a source. So it's basically random. Okay, it's basically random. Well, if it is random, then what would be the distribution of of noise? Well. You can apply 
I don't know, central limit error in test I also call. If you recall central limit error from your stochastics theory course, that you know, if you have uh, independent sources and if the output which is being generated from not independent sources, rather you can take it as signals, uh, processes. If you have independent processes, and if each process is uniformly distributed and if you create another process by taking an algebraic sum of, of, of these independent processes then the distribution of such a process or the resulting process will tend to follow Gaussian distribution. Does that matter? Right? If you take an algebraic sum of uniformly distributed random processes, then the resulting process would tend to have a Gaussian distribution. Of course, according to central limit theorem, then the number of independent and uniformly distributed processes should be should be greater than 12. Aren't that uniformly distributed process process Gaussian distribution in central limit theorem. confirm central limit theorem confirm ሰምልታ <laughs> Central limit here. Kulachun zum kalachuni, Doctor Alam Zodin, Aun the Wee, yes, and Machulan Nagro. Tamaru Chief, Central limit here on Anna Kamalini. Samacho Kali Kali no Bian and Agro. ቃላችሁ <laughs> ሌሎቻችሁ Central limit theorem, meaning the one that is the middle and the so color, still in the room. Tizimila. And the same? Ashilamanium, central limit theorem, powerful on a theorem. Central limit theorem, and the same as uniformly distributed the home. Processors we know. The process is stochastic signal element, stochastic process name. And design it uh, uniformly distributed home processors we know. Can I sue them? No, so by madam, any game process minor distribution in or all. Processor to be that I trust all it in a casa or like a corner. When I sue them, any game of process distribution of Gaussia, no. In a sub or the noise in Namta. Noise source of try Tawoku. Tawoku, which I sell, Buzunacho, Tawoku, Gamatagna Tawoku. 
So, yanda na chu source search, no wells uniformly distributed bihonu, and na yanda na chu source search, chu sabar sa chu thadam no kovan no is ni mi fadrut, yano is distribution Gaussian no thablo itasaval no. Okay, it's Gaussian and the sorry, it's random and the distribution is assumed to be Gaussian. Of course, if it is Gaussian, then we know that, you know, the key parameters that are used to specify a Gaussian process are the mean and the variance. If you're given with certain Gaussian, Gaussian process, Gaussian noble and color, mean we hold about I normal, that's the mean and the deviation from the mean is is captured by uh, the variance. Okay, uh, of course, well, so there are three key properties that in an AWGN shall fulfill. Well, first, it's an additive, i.e., its effect would be to be superimposed on on the signal. It's white so that it occupies the entire frequency band, and it's Gaussian. So it's 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 Gaussian, indicating that it's random, and its distribution is usually captured to be governed by the Gaussian Gaussian distribution. Okay. So that's an EWGN uh, channel mode that it should fulfill additiveness uh, with the white and, and, and the Gaussian uh, requirements. Okay, so the received waveform R of T is nothing but the transmitted waveform uh, SM, the, 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 the received waveform R of T would be the transmitted waveform SM of T plus, plus the noise. Now, here is the question, okay, given that R of T is an algebraic sum of the desired signal SM of T and an unwanted signal N of T, then what would be the task of a receiver? Or what would be the task of an optimal, an optimal receiver? Okay, so we start with the fact that we have, I mean, on the receiver side, we have R of T, which is the sum of transmitted waveform SM of T plus N of T. Given that on the receiver side, R of T is being received, okay? If we watch or observe it from the receiver side, we start with the fact that we have R of T. Okay, now, receiver line, min min u katalan, balance in the sum, and now go, R of T, yet a couple of way for Marlon. Of course, Lila u katachin in Mihono, here of T used noise a little better. Yes, in noise effect to additive now. Here noise Gaussian no distribution, or the Gaussian distribution governed the Mihonal. Here noise Ulum frequency which like. Exist in Mirag? No. Okay, now you got to snatch. R of T in the channel of Nago. R of T signal on Mala noise on Mala. Slice in the figure of a latch. Signal on Zet Vihon, noise on Havihon, one as a Takalaklo Matal Malet. Senayo Takalakalam, Ampiago Nihono, one as a ton clearly. ملايه <تصفيق> Basic group at the Nabunakona. 
But other than that, not problem. there is no way that we will be extracting the coffee and the milk separately, right? And <laughs> roftin, as softin, and nofti, will be lost. Malet? <laughs> Way my cat on over and it's a calacalon enjoying Narago Allen. Alone again, good nine lavicha with a tail lavicha and the baljata is a calaclovaga than it runa garmakia to corner, soon enjoy Marago. And then moving out at the calaclo the moon, come at Latina Madagal in each eleven in you. And the Zarga trust so. Okay, Arlen's in the Lakata, extract Maragon. So that's the objective here. Based on the observation of R of T over a, over 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 a signal interval, of course, this this definition is valid uh, only over I think over 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 a symbol interval. He model misara over a symbol interval. Next symbol interval is M of T mikayara line of T mikayara. So. Over a symbol interval, given that R of T is, is, is received, now the primary task of the receiver is to design an optimal receiver. And this optimality is in the sense that the probability of making errors is somehow be minimized. So the task that we have at hand is Given that R of T is received over a symbol interval, how can we design the receiver? Okay, how can we design the receiver in such a way that the probability of making error would be minimal? Of course, designing a receiver whose probability of making error is, is minimal is Turned to be an optimal receiver. Okay, optimality. Error in zero one to hire I challenge. When waga is careful. But I challenge you then. Error in minimize the error in Mitchell. The receiver structure min mahon al batno. Okay, so let's go back to the basics. That. Well, what are the knowledge that we have? We have a knowledge that R of T is actually SM of T plus N of T. And of course, we know that SM of T is generated via, uh, via, uh, by, by, by taking a linear combination Okay, so we start with a coefficient SM1, we weight it by a basis function F1 of T plus coefficient SM2 times basis function F2 of T. The sum of the two would give the, 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 the signal part plus the noise. Right? So this part is nothing but uh, S M of T. Of course, this definition is valid over a symbol interval only. Outside of this symbol interval, both the signal and the noise component uh, would, would be different. So, what shall we do now? In the absence of noise, what we did was we projected or we correlated the received waveform R of T on each of the basis functions, right? So now what will happen if we perform the same, the same operation? So we start with R of T, and then if we try to project R of T 
on the basis functions f1 of t and f2 of t, what will happen? So equivalently, what we are doing, I mean, projecting r of t on each of the basis functions would mean projecting s m of t and the noise n of t on each of the basis functions, right? In project mallet, r of t all to the more corner, the yand and that's do project madrag mallet. You have basis function f1 of t and then another basis function f2 of t. So you, you, you project n of t on the basis function f1 of t. Again, you project n of t on the basis function uh, f2 of t. So when you project uh, sm of t on f1 of t, we know that we would get sm1. And of course, when we project n of t on f1 of t, we would get a noise component n1. Of course, if we project both SM1 and uh, SM of T and N of T, what we would be getting is SM1 plus plus N1. And when we project SM of T on S on F2 of T, we would get the coefficient SM2. And when we project N on F2, we would get the coefficient N2. So projecting both would give uh, the sum of SM1 and SM2. Okay, so what do we note here? Aaron was done. Basis function of like project to my drug mallet. Signal modulated your own signal is same of thing was to basis function like project mallet. And then project mallet, you know, you want to do more more said mallet. So let's say I'm sorry, F1 like project scenario. Yes, F1 the correlated your own component mallet is same one. No, it's same one, you know, a coefficient is basically SM1 indicates the part of SM of T which is correlated to the basis function F1 of T. Malatar, SM1 is indicates the part of SM of T which is correlated to uh, F1 of T. Okay, so SM, you want no part of F1 correlated you want to part KF2 correlated. F1 like project scenario, SM1 set and wallet, SM1 wallet, KF1 correlated, you want to SM part. SM2 milo coefficient, the part of SM2 which is correlated to the basis function F2. With the same argument, noise was then F1 like project scenario, minimality. Our noise will low let the link of flow in Chilag. It was a noise part, if one go correlated you on a part. You know, you know, is part, if one go uncorrelated you on a part. So, our ending was the project again, correlator again, blessing, correlator, you correlator would take the part of N of T or the part of the noise which is correlated to. F1 of T now, as, as, as N1 in the And N2 is the part of the noise which is correlated to F2 of T. Okay? So, noise will all let the neck fellow. Here noise, it also no part. On KF1, like the project is in Arago, KF1 got the mimes as a correlated you know part, so N1 on a nagging one. Uncorrelated you know part, correlation zero. So look at correlates in other minimum general, yes, zero one. So N1 again, you know, it's the part of the noise which is correlated to F1. N2 again, you know, it's the part of the noise which is correlated to F2. 
anyone in the end to correlate their nature with the in the catch either loom lemon anyone well at case one got correlated you know corner and the two other case to got correlated you know corner if one and if to the more the design orthogonal natural and color and one and the end to orthogonal nature and one and the end to correlated yellow home natural in any way this is a vector r and this is the decision vector okay so what do we observe here we observe that the process of performing the the the, the correlation is to map r of t a continuous time signal a waveform r of t would be mapped into into a waveform as a result of the correlation okay as a result of the correlation a signal r of t a received signal r of t is mapped into a vector r then the correlation map the madragach of course when we investigate each element of r okay when we investigate each element of r what do we know so in in the r1 bilan masab inchilalen in in the r2 bilan binasib r mi balo vector will have entries r1 na r2 you know what all and the matter of course yanda and bulai sm1 alla which is the signal part and then you have n1 which is the noise part sm2 which is related to the signal part and then n2 uh, which is which is related to the noise part ahun eita inde hisab ka ye no ehe correlation operation malat continuous in time yona signal r of t with a vector maqayyar hisab ne okay what a vector maqayyar ወደውስ ገብተን እንደሞ ቬክተሩን سنመለከተው ሁለት ኤለመንቶች አሉ። አንደኛው ኤለመንት sm1 ላይ የሆነ ኖይስ ተጨምሮበት ሁለተኛው ኤለመንት sm2 ላይ የሆነ ኤለመንት ተጨምሮበት የሆነ ኖይስ ተጨምሮበት ይሄ መጨመር ማለት ምን ማለት ነው በ በኮንስቴሌሽን ዲያግራም ላይ ኬልን بنመለከተው if you take the case of binary pulse amplitude modulation or binary phase shift taking consider that uh, consider binary uh, modulation scheme now in the case of binary uh, modulation scheme uh, we will have either waveform uh, sm1 not waveform actually either sm1 or s m2 would be transmitted right as an example sm2 may represent 0 and sm1 may represent 1 so every time bit 0 appears at the input to a binary modulator then the coefficient sm uh, sm2 sorry uh, yeah whenever bit sequence 0 appears at the input to a modulator then sm2 would be generated and whenever a bit sequence uh, one appears at the input of a binary modulator then sm1 would be would be generated so if you see it from the transmitter side this is the constellation probe agar hulu salam bohona but transmitter lay honen binay constellation flow to hinen mimalakato however what happens if we investigate this on the receiver side or how would the constellation plot looks like when you see it from the receiver side now if you send on successively yemilako and the bit which channel will not so let's say and okay and you continuously when you look of course some binary so on receiver line and in three which are you know so and nagar but i said in the lack in the number not so በየናንዱ ሲምፖል ኢንተርቫል ውስጥ ኤክስፔክት ምናረጋው sm1 ን ለማግኘት ነው ለኬ ኮሪሌተር ውጤት sm1 ፕላስ ዘ ኖይዝ ነው 
ይሄ ነው እዚህ ነን አንደል ነው ከሲምቦል ኢንተርቫል ወደ ሲምቦል ኢንተርቫል ይለያያል ሶ የሆነ ጊዜ ላይ SM ኦኬ ባይነሪ ከሆነ ሚላካው ኦኬ ለምሳሌ የሆነ ጊዜ የሆነ ኢንስተንት ላይ SM ዋላ የሆነ ኖይዝ N ዋል ሊደመር ይችላል የሚቀጥለው ኢንስተንት ላይ ኖይዝ ራንደም ነው ሲደመር ምናልባት ከሽፍትም ኖሮት የሚቀነስ ሊሆን ይችላል የሆነ ኢንስተንት ላይ እዚህ ጋር ሊሆን ይችላል የሆነ ኢንስተንት እንዲ ሊሆን ይችላል ሶ ሰፋ ባለ ኢንስተንት ውስጥ ብንመለከተው ምናልባትም ትልቅ ኖይዝ ከመጣ እዚህ ጋር ሊሆን ይችላል ኦኬ S1 ሲላክ በኤስቱስ ብንመለከተው ለኬስ ቱ ሲላክ ትራንስሚተር ላይ ሆነን ምን ነው ይሄን ነው ሪሲቨሩ ላይ ግን የሆነ ጊዜ የሆነ ኖይዝ ይደመራል ሌላ ጊዜ ሌላ መጠን ያለው ኖይዝ ይደመራል ሌላ ጊዜ ሌላ መጠን ያለው ኖይዝ ይደመራል ሶ ሰፋ ባለ የጊዜ ገደብ ውስጥ ሆነን ብናይ ምንማለት ነው ሰላች ኮንስትሌሽን ፕሮቱን ሬሲዳንት እንግዲህ እይታ ባለፈው ትራንስሚተር ሳይድ ላይ ሆነን ነበር ኮንስትሌሽን ፕሮት ያየን ይሄን ኮንስትሌሽን ፕሮት ሬሲቨር ሳይድ ላይ መተን ብንመለከተው ኖይዙ ራንደም ነው ከሲምቦል ሲምቦል ኢንተርቫል ይቀያየራ ጻይ ማለት ምንድነው የሆነ ጊዜ ፖዚቲቭ ቫልዩ ኖራል የሆነ ጊዜ ኔጌቲቭ ቫልዩ ኖራል የሆነ ጊዜ ፍሽፍት ኖራል ሶ ሰፋላ ላይ ኢንተርቫል ሪሲቨር ሳይድ ላይ ሆነን ብንመለከተው ኮንስትሌሽን ፕሮቱ ሰምሃው የሆነ ስካተር የሆነ ነገር ነው ይላል። ኦኬ? ሰምሃው ስካተር የሆነ ነው የሚሆነው። ሪሲቨር ላይ ሆነን የምንመለከተው ኮንስትሌሽን ፕሮት ስካተር ነው። አሁን ሳነቲን አስቸጋሪ የሚያረጋው እሱ። ኦኬ? ሶ እንደዚህ አይነት ስካተር ከሆነ when diffuse the corona corona constellation ምን ፈልጋቸው መስራት መቻል አለብንም ስለዚህ ምን ማለት ነው ኮሪሌት ማድረግ ጥቅም አለው ግን የኮሪሌሽን ውጤት ብንመለከተው diffuse ሊሆነ scatter ሊሆነ constellation plot ነው ምናገኘው እና አሁን ውሳኔ መወሰን አለብን ማን ይተላከው ብለን ውሳኔ መወሰን አለብን ስለዚህ ሁለተኛው ተጨማሪ ብሎክ ምን ይሆናል ማለት ነው ይሄንን ፕሮጀክት የሚያረጋው ኮሪሌሽን የሚለካው ዲሞጁሌተሩ ሲሆን የዲሞጁሌተሩ አውትፑት ግን በኖይዝ ምክንያት የምንፈልገውን አይደለም ስለዚህ አሁን ውሳኔ የሚወስን አንድ ብሎክ ያስፈልጋል ያ ብሎክ ዲቴክተር ይባላል ኦኬ ይሄን ውሳኔ የሚወስን አንድ ብሎክ ያስፈልጋል ያ ብሎክ ዲቴክተር ይባላል ኦኬ ሶ ፎር ዘ ሪሲቨር ኮንፊግሬሽን አይ ሚን ቱ ፉልፊል ዲ ዲ ኦፕቲማሊቲ ኦብጀክቲቭ ዊ ኒድ ቱ ብሎክስ ዋን ኢዝ ዊ ኒድ ዲ ሞጁሌተር ኤንድ ዘን ዘ ሰከንድ ዋን ኢዝ we need a detector now let's see each of them one by one what is the task of a demodulator the task of a demodulator is to convert a received waveform a purpose to dimensional modulation you know so the task of the modulator would be to convert the received waveform r of t into a vector r having two entries r1 and and r2 and how is that done this is done via the correlation operation of course not only correlation but we can also use filtering
Okay, so by using either correlation or much the filtering, um, if we look into each element R, it's the sum of SM1 plus noise N1 and SM2 plus N2. SM1 and SM2 are the desired components. Information value SM1 and SM2. I know so SM1 and SM2 are the desired components, and N1 and N2 are the undesired components that are coming from, from the noise. Of course, given the fact that the noise is random, would mean that N1 and N2 are random. At, at the, the Temesa say SM1, at different instance, symbol time like in Malaka, N1 and N2, yet a lay you not chung home to learn, and Nasun effect are always random. So long. N1 and N2 correlated, I won't learn. N1 mallet, F1 ga correlated you hono, you know, is part of you. N2 mallet, N1 ga correlated you hono, F2 ga correlated you hono, you know, is part of you. F1 na F2 ba design orthogonal ko hono, N1 na N2, noise na cho gil correlated, either room, blend, master, and chill Okay. So the demodulator part, which is realized either in the form of a correlation type demodulator or a much filter type demodulator, its primary task is to convert a waveform R of T into a vector R. A vector R will have two entries, R1 and R2, and each entry are somehow comprised of the signal part and, and, and the noise part. Now we need the second block that we need is is a detector. A myosinical one. Okay, myosinical, some binary, you know, binary behind. Binary. Kim Leonichal. When binary phase shift King Leonichal, possible constellation or two, nothing at all. So these are the the possible these are the possible sorry constellations from the transmitter side. Okay, way henomilako, way henomilako. I are going to receive side like in Malakato, Italia, or Malaysia, Lam Sali Lazino, which is SM to be one. Uh, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here. And for SM1, you know, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here. You know, it could be anywhere for that matter. Okay, now, as an example, uh, if, well, this is for SM2, assume that SM2 is sent, and what, no, sorry, this is SM1. Let me say this is SM1. Let me say SM1 tala kabel and nas. And I take up well no constellation ziga be home. Ahon, more than a little bit. It a couple no cinema lacato zaga cohona. Ahon yetalaco man no. Yemilu sani more than a little bit. Kazit and a stand. Yetalaco iheno. Was iheno. Mil. Usani mo mo sana labi, tara? Mo sana labi. Ande to sana labi, ande yung matrix, distance matrix, liyo ni chila. 
አሁን የተቀበለው ኮንስትሌሽን ለየትኛው ይቀርባል ብሎ መወሰን ዲስተንስ ቤዝ ቢሆን ውሳኔ ሆኖ ይችላል ይሰራል በተወሰነ ደረጃ ግን የማይሰራበት ኬዝ አለ ለምን ነው አሁን ጥያቄው ከተቀበለው ኮንስትሌሽን ተነስተን ሊላክ የሚችለውን ኮንስትሌሽን መወሰን ያስፈልጋል በተወሰኑ መስፈርቶች የተወሰኑ መስፈርቶች እንታሰቢ ባደረገ መንገድ የተላከው ማን ነው የሚል በእያንዳንዱ ሲምቦል ኢንተርቫል ላይ ውሳኔ መወሰን አለበት ይሄንን የሚያስነው ማን ነው ዲቴክተሩ ነው ነው so the task of the detector is to determine the possible transmitted signal the possible transmitted waveform or the possible transmitted constellation the constellation level cast seven now based on 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 the vector r okay based on on the vector r so we need two blocks one is the demodulator part the primary task of the demodulator is to compute the correlation between the received vector r and the basis functions and then we need it so the demodulator can be implemented either in in a correlative way or it can also be implemented uh, in in using match the filter but we know that the output of the demodulator the output of either a match the filter or a correlative type demodulator has you know the noise component so we need another block that based on the output from the demodulator will take some decision on the transmitted waveform a block that will take a decision on the co transmitted constellation a block that will take a decision on the transmitted information sequence and that block is what we call the detector so to sum it up the at least for 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 the purpose of the fourth chapter the receiver is comprised of two parts namely the demodulator and the detector part good to know as to confirm our ruling in a break in a second good to know tie ለታየ ግልጽ ነው ላበራም ግልጽ ነው ሙሌ ዳንኤል ቤተሊን አሳሬን ትጁማ ደረጀ አምሩ ብርሃን እግራ መንገዲ መኖራችሁን ማረጋግጥ በስለሆነ እስቲ ግልጽ ነው ለሌሎቻችሁ ተቀራችሁ አብረነን አላችሁ አሁን ኮንፈርም ካረጋችሁልኝ አንዱ ለት ሶስት አራት አምስት ስድስት ዳኔ ሰባት ሙሌ ስምንት አብራ ዘጠኝ ታያስር አንድ አስር ሰው ኮንፈርም አርጓል አስራ አምስት ናቸው አምስቶቻችሁን ምን ባላችሁ ካላችሁ ታለው 11 አራስ የጋራ አላችሁ አራታችሁ እሻር ሲመልክ 12 እኔ እንደ ቻለት አላርገው 3 ሰይቀራል ቅድስት አለች 2 ሰይቀራል የጀረሻው ለቶች ወለቶች ይላችሁ እሺ ይሄን እንግዲህ ዝምታ ምን ነው ወርክ ነው ነው ብር ነው ብላችሁ ቆላ አላርገን ግን አይደል ለማንኛው እነኚህ ሁለት መሰረታዊ ብሎኮች ያስፈልጋሉ ነው ሶ ብሬክ ነው ሰድና አሁን ዲሞጁሌተሮቹን በተወሰነ ደረጃ ዲቴክተሮቹን በተወሰነ ደረጃ እና ያለን ቀድም እንዳልኩት 
correlation type na match filter type demodulator ochalu ba correlation type demodulator class un katalal um kamnas tilal ara ye laptop ke sath as anusa tilal ye silke anus en ve baka bani laptop sath ne nasa na on anusa tilo
Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire, messages Hello everyone and welcome to this brief overview of correlation. So what is correlation? Correlation is a relationship between variables. By looking at a correlation, we can get an idea of how strong this relationship is and uh, what type of relationship exists between our variables, so more about the direction. One feature of a correlation is of course its direction. By looking at whether or not a correlation has a positive or negative sign, we can tell what is happening between the variables. Also, we can take a look at a graph of a correlation and quickly see what direction our correlation is in. For example, a positive correlation occurs when both variables are increasing or decreasing at the same time. Our data set will fall in an upward sloping direction when we have a positive correlation. So if we have a data set that has points that look like what I'm putting on here now, we can see that if we drew a line through this data, it is going in an upward sloping direction. What this tells us is that as our variable x increases, our variable y is also increasing. Okay. Now, a negative correlation is what exists when our variables are going in opposite directions meaning that as one variable increases, the other decreases. This gives us a negative correlation. So in this case, our data set will fall in a downward sloping direction. So if we have a data set that looks like this, and we draw the line that best fits this data set, we can see that it is going down. Okay. Now, what this means is that as our values for x increase, as we move along the x-axis, our values for y are decreasing. They're going down. So we can see here that our variables are going in opposite direction. As one is increasing, in this case our x value, then y is decreasing. Now, if our data set doesn't seem to follow either one of these predictable patterns, then it may be described as having no correlation. No correlation means there is no discernible pattern that can be detected between the variables, meaning that no relationship exists. This can happen in two different cases. One, the first one I'll present here, is where our data set appears to be scattered, where it has no real pattern. So let's say, for example, we had a data set that looks like this. Now, if we drew a line through this, like we did for the positive and negative correlation, you could see we would really have a straight line. This would be the best fit here. If we ever see this type of data set or we can draw a straight horizontal line, then that means that there is no real relationship between x and y. Another way that we could possibly have a uh, no correlation is if we have something that is curvilinear, which means that maybe our data set looks like this. it seems to curve around. So if we drew a line, it would appear to be this way. And we could also do a data set that would go in the opposite direction as well. And what this means is that it's not a reliable linear relationship. We can see here that when x is really low, so in this case right here, or when it's really high, y is low. And we can see that drawing a best fit line through our data set here does not lead to a sloping line or signifying a direction. A positive correlation, again, is signified by a positive sign, and both of our var variables are going in the same direction. This can be from 0 to positive 1. A negative correlation, again, means that our correlation is from 0 to negative 1, or has a negative sign, and our variables are going in opposite directions. No correlation will be close to zero, so it will have no sign, and it means there is no discernible relationship between the variables. Another feature of a correlation is its strength. The closer the number is to one, regardless of the sign or the direction, whether it's positive or negative or has a positive or negative sign, the stronger the correlation is. Though we would have to look up the critical R, or a correlation coefficient, 
uh, which is affected by the sample size, to determine whether or not the correlation is large enough to be significant, we can get a basic idea of the strength by simply look at the correlation coefficient itself. We can see here that an R equal to plus or minus 0.8 or higher uh, is typically referred to as a strong correlation. An R equal to plus or minus 0.5 to 0.8 is a considered a medium correlation, while a R of equal to plus or minus 0.4 or lower is usually referred to as a weak correlation. Now we can have this for any of the types of correlations, positive or negative, that we were talking about before. For example, a strong positive correlation would fit a straight line, or is, would be very close to that straight line. So, for example, very similar to what I had listed up at the top of the screen, if we had a data set that looked like this, where our best fit line would go right through the middle, of course that's supposed to be a straight line, then that would be a very strong positive correlation. The closer those dots or the points in our data set are to that line, the stronger the relationship and the stronger our correlation, the greater that number will be to one. Now we can see this, especially in, let's say, a weak positive correlation. Now again, it's positive, so our data set will still go in maybe an upward sloping direction. But you can see here that our points are spread out more. They're not packed greatly around the line that we have here, or the best fitting line. So this would represent a weaker correlation. Overall, remember that correlations tell us about a relationship between variables. How strong that relationship is, and in what direction those variables are going. However, we cannot infer causality or say that one variable is impacting or affecting the other. One book a week, but not many people have...
Okay. Sorry that I took longer time than I initially thought. Okay, uh, um, so uh, let's continue. I think in the interest of time, I will I'll try to, uh, you know, be as quick as I can. Okay, so on the demodulator side, there are two parts. One is, or there are two ways of implementing the demodulator. One is a correlation type, and the other one is a matched filter type. And let's see each of them uh, one one by one. Okay. Uh, so uh, correlation type to demodulator. I think the task is 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 relatively simple. That its primary task is to decompose uh, the waveform R of T into a vector into into a vector R. Okay. That's the task of the, the, the demodulator. Of course, we see that in, in R, uh, I mean, part of R has an information about the signal, or part of R is comprised of the signal, and part of R is comprised of, of the noise. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, yeah, that's, that's what, 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 what we note. Now, if you see the implementation, this is how uh, the implementation for 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 uh, a demod a correlation type uh, demodulator looks like. As we say, the task of such a demodulator is to map a waveform R of T into into a vector R. So we start with uh, the received signal R of T. Oh, well, let me put it this way. For the implementation, uh, we will have bank of correlators. Of course, in, in our case, uh, what we have seen is either a one or a two-dimensional signal. In any way, uh, we will have bank of correlators where the number of co correlators that we have is proportional to the dimension of the modulation scheme. So. Well, this is a plot for any generalized, okay, for any generalized uh, modulation scheme. Or this is a plot assuming that we have uh, an n-dimensional modulation. So what we noted that we will have n branches, and if you look into each branch, okay, the same received waveform R of t is fed or is given as an input to 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 each uh, to to the n um, correlators. So if you look into, as an example, if you look into the first correlator, what it does is it tries to correlate the received waveform R of t with the first uh, waveform. Uh, sorry, with the first basis function f one of t. So you have a multiplication followed by integration operation, and of course, if you take sample. Uh, you would get, uh, so the output at the case branch is an inner product or a correlation of the same received waveform R of T with each of the basis functions F K of T uh, DT. Okay, so we have said that this is a correlation operation or an inner product operation. So the output at each branch is uh, computed by taking the correlation between the received waveform R of T with each of the basis basis uh, basis functions. Okay, so for our purpose, the maximum correlation, I mean the maximum di dimension uh, we we consider was was two n is one for pulse amplitude. Uh, modulation case and n is two for uh, MRA PSK and for QAM case. So for our purpose, 
we only need only 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 two branches so yandan two branch lay correlation is serral a correlation output coefficient to two nacho so let's see in the argon case i mean if you collect all these points so we are conceptually saying that we have a vector a vector r okay so in the hisal case no yeah the modulator is a continuous waveform with the vector we can hear no yeah la madre tama sasa waveform kahulun basis function of chuga correlated yonal yeah la mafatsam yeah minor on correlator which is that and the and the modulation dimension now uh blend my seven channel uh okay so what does it mean from a mathematical uh a mathematical standpoint from a mathematical standpoint if we have n correlators uh and computing the projection of r rock t on each of the basis functions or performing an inner product of the received waveform r of t uh, would, would 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 look like the following so over each symbol interval the received waveform r of t would be multiplied by the basis function f of k and then you you do the integration here at the k's branch in minor minor now if we replace or substitute uh our, for the awgn model okay for the additive white gaussian noise model assumption r of t is the sum of the modulated waveform sm of t and a noise component n of t so the sum of the two would be projected on the case basis function so mathematically if we uh, expand then we will have zero an integral from 0 to t of the modulated waveform sm of t times the basis function fk of t dt plus uh, an integral from 0 to t of the noise component n of t times fk of t times dt so conceptually projecting the received waveform r of t on each of the basis function is equivalent to projecting the modulated waveform on each of the basis function uh, and we project the basis function on e we project the modulated waveform on each of the basis functions and then we add uh, and we we also project the received waveform on each of the basis functions and then we get the the, the algebra itself r of t must be projected mara mala s of t na na sm of t modulated wave formula na noise project argo medemmer ga akul nachaw no okay so the first projection okay this projection would would give the coefficient s m k and this projection would give the coefficient n k of course k runs from 1 up to up to capital n for our purpose n n would be at at most two okay so if you look into the output at each branch okay this is the output at each branch where r where k indicates the branch uh, and so yandan do branch at, at the k's branch we have smk where smk is nothing but the 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 result of projecting sm of t on the k's basis function plus plus uh, nk of t okay yandan do branch lay honen kaye no the signal component um alle ye ye noise component um alle blend ma seven chilal okay so this is a same k and this is nk i think one way of 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 course nk is the part of the noise which is correlated to the basis function alright so let's see look here in the can you know is a space on binasbo okay you know is a space on binasbo you know is a space on two let nagarochu no rotal it also no ka basis function ga correlated yona part al ka basis function ga correlated yalbono part al 
So correlations in Sarah, correlated you on a part in them. At the output of the correlator appearing there. Then correlated you on a part, uh, it would it would somehow uh, it would it would it would somehow vanish. So uh, I think one way of visual if this represents the noise space uh, n of t, then you can assume that you know part of it uh, would would you know there is a certain part of the noise which is correlated to the basis function uh, f k of t. Okay, so this is a part which is correlated to the basis function, and we, you also have a part which is not correlated with with the basis function. Uh, and does that and okay, let me use a different of course we will see it later on to get along uh no n of t there is a part which is correlated to f k of t and part of it which is uncorrelated okay so there is a part of the noise which is correlated to the basis function and there is a part which is uncorrelated uncorrelated you know the correlation operation is it zero no minimum correlated you know part uh, Correlated you know part n k for me aragal Okay, so n k represents the part of the noise uh, which is which is correlated with with the basis functions. Now, what else do we observe? Uh, now, Dagman bin Malakato. Now we have R k, which is the output at the case branch. Just for our purpose, nengi nengat facho. Okay, lengi our purpose two-dimensional no. Skaho ne yeno na yeminoran hula tu na chovcha. P A M ko hona andu chya na P S K wa yu ko am ko na hula tum yona lublan bunasu. Yandan du branch lai yalo malat. This is S M one plus the noise N one and S M two. Plus the noise n. So R k is well. What do we observe? R k is s n k plus uh, n k, right? So what do we observe? Well, wh well, let's let's investigate further here. That well, we know that the noise n of t. K would again be random. Okay, n k is the projection of the noise on each of the basis functions, and of course that projection uh, would would give us n k, and n k is 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 random. So if n k is random, then the r k, which is s m k plus plus n k, and of course because of the fact that n k is random, r k is also random. Okay, are the key random? No, no, no. Lemon, because of the fact that n k is 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 random. Yamalatun malatun. If you look into each entry are k, which is s m k plus plus n k, because of the fact that the noise is random, each element is random. For that matter, the vector itself, the vector r, is is also random. Man, I'm not very hidden. Let me say, can I say you want a waveform built like a nice? Some sort of experiment here, sir. Can I say you want a waveform? Here, I can open a nice, a nice, a nice. 
ओके ተመሳሳይ የሆነ ወይ ፎርም እየተራከ ነው ብለን ብናስብ ኖይዙ በየሲምቦል ኢንተርቫል የተለያየ በመሆኑ ምክንያት ሉክ ኮሪሌትስ እና ደግ ያንዳንዱ ብራንች ላይ የምናገኛቸው ኮፕሽንቶች ራሳቸው ራንደም ናቸው ለተመሳሳይ ሙሉ ይችላል ወይ ፎ ኦር ለተመሳሳይ ኢንፎርሜሽን ራሱ ብናዩ በኖይዙ ምክንያት ኦርቶስ ኢንፎርሜሽኑ ከቀየር ነው ራንደም የሆነ ኢንፎርሜሽን ሲደመ ራንደም የሆነ ሲግናል ሌላ ራንደም የሆነ ያ ራንደም ነው ሱን ይጀምራል ወይ ይቀይራል በዋናነት ግን ምን አስተውለው ነገር እያንዳንዱ ኤሌመንት ራንደም ነው ያ ማለት ከሁለቱ የተፈጠረው ቬክተር አርም ራሱ ይቻለ ራንደም ነው ነው ሶ ይሄ ከሆነ እንግዲህ ራንደም ይሁን ነውታ ራንደም ፕሮሰሶችን እናጥና ብለን ካለ ራንደም ፕሮሰሶችን ለማጥራት ምንድነው ነው አትሊስ ምን መታወቃለሁ ኦኬ ራንደም ሆኖን ማወቅ አንድ አንድ ውቀት ነው ነገር ግን አንድን ራንደም ፕሮሰስ እናጥና አንድን ራንደም የሆነ ፕሮሰስ እናጥና ብለን ካለ ማወቅ ካለብን ነገሮች አይስ ኪ ፓራሜትርስ ዲስትሪቢዩሽን ምን ይመስላል ሚኑ ምን ይመስላል ቫሪያንስ ምን ይመስላል አይደል random cone density distribution መታወቃለሁበት ከዛ በኋላ ይሄ እንግዲህ በስቶካስቲክ ቋንቋ ይሄ first order moments end order momentsዎቹ መታወቃለሁባቸው እና ቀላውና ሚኑና ቫሪያንሱ ፕላስ ዲስትሪቢዩሽን መታወቃለሁበት ሊተና ከተፈለገ ስለዚህ r random ነው ብለን ከተነሳን the natural or the obvious question would be what would be the ይሄ መመለስ አለበት and that's what we would be addressing in 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 the next step now by definition we know that the noise n of t is uh, normally distributed gaussian no blend no man na so but usually we assume that this gaussian distribution will have uh, a mean of 0 and some variance eta square why do you why do we assume that the gaussian is zero in his stochasticum sitemaru gaussian distributed zero mean yalachu necessarily zero yonal lamalat aral okay necessarily zero yonal lamalat aral ke saban za zero mean no blow masab yerasu yihon advantage och alu lemani yihon if you are given with a random process x okay if x is a random process uh with mean or if with expectation of x given as mu of x now if you form another random process y by subtracting the mean from the random process uh, mu of x look and random process you know is an random process meaning when average value in kansen yemin fetro random process kayeno still random እንዲህ የሚቀያየር ከሆነ ሚኑ ማለት ኮንስታንት ነው ኮንስታንት መደመርና መቀነስ የራንደም እነሱን አይቀይረው ሚኑ ግን ይቀይራል so what would be the mean of the, the the new random process the mean of the new random process y would be the mean of uh, x minus mu of x and you can show that this will be zero so taking the fact that if you are given with a random process and if you subtract the mean from that random process the mean of the resulting process would be zero ehe fact no sezi zero no blan sinnasa yegid hunetaw zero no malet arale zero madrek asfelege gin minu meqanas bohala ode neberebet innimeles blan kalim demo minu medemar ስለዚህ ሚኑን በመቀነስ የሚገኘው አዲሱን ፕሮሰስ ሚን ዜሮ ማድረግ ይቻላል በኋላ ሰርተን ስንጨርስ ደግሞ ሚኑን በመደመር ወደ ነበረበት መመለስ ስለሚቻል ብዙ ጊዜ ስቶካስቲክም ስለታጠኑ ኮሙኒኬሽን ሲስተምን ስለታጠኑ ዊ ዊ ዊ ስታርት ዊዝ ዳ ሰምሽን ዳ ዘ ኖይስ 
has zero mean in, 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 in some variants. Uh, of course, Gaussian uh, centered around zero would mean that this is how the distribution of, of, of the mean, uh, of, of the run N of, N of T would indicate. Here, the deviation from, 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 from the mean norm, which is captured uh, through, 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 through the variance. Okay, so what we conclude from here is for our purpose, two branches are sufficient, one, and if you look into the output for, from each branch, there is a part which is correlated to the signal, and there is a part which is correlated to the noise. So the part which is correlated to the noise is designated as NK. And of course, because of the fact that the noise is random, then NK would be random. And if NK is random, then R is random. So if R is random, what would be the distribution, the mean, and the variance of R would be the question. In my mind, let's know. For that, we start with the assumption that the mean of I mean, we start with the assumption that the, 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 the noise is of Gaussian distributed with zero mean and, 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 and some variance. Now, so with this assumption, if this is the assumption, combined then what would be the mean of NK? Okay, the mean of NK is nothing but the mean of whatever expression that you have here, right? Yeah, you mean of n of t proportional, no? fk deterministic, no? So if, if, if the mean of n of t is zero, then naturally the mean of n k would be, would be zero. That's what we would be looking uh, next. Okay, so conclusion. NK is random. Why? Because it's it, it's it's the result of projecting the noise on on each of the basis functions. Can further be splitted into 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 two. Non correlated part. And then you have the part of the noise which is which is correlated. Yeah, well, it's normal to say that. Yeah, a basis function got correlated to no noise mallet, but he's a compa. Yeah, noise. Yeah, basis function two algebra exemplary arguments are which are look S M of T. Yeah, basis function two weighted sum in the one of Hulu. Can the basis function of the correlated one part as an algebraic sum of the basis functions must be equal to plus carry part alone. Uncorrelated part. What do I mean by that? Uncorrelated part is the noise minus minus the 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 correlated part. This is basically the correlated part. I hope to learn the answer. So, to get that one, and the other thing is that I hope no one will understand project scenario correlated part two correlated slope. The correlated output line is being made. And correlated one part is there. Meanwhile, let me. And the correlated, but I'm going to choose the two sum. Can we use the two sum part to correlate? 
ኮሪሌትድ This leads to noise reduction. Iyad afanu yal kwarallo. In concept of them barga chu digester. Iyad afanu yal kwarallo. But to sana daraja gin correlated yihono yihono part andi dafa andi kanis astawazu yaraga na ola malata. Okay. Anyway. Uh, what interests us is the part of the noise which is correlated to, to to the basis functions and we would like to know the statistics of 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 the noise now if by definition we start with a noise n of t which is normally distributed with zero mean and some variance this is by definition then what would be the mean or the expectation of the case component in k of t so the expectation or the mean of the case component is in k malet ahon definition us katta masgabat no n k malet n of t f k of t like project do no malet yezi expectation uh, equivalent to mat sa fichilan so the expectation of n k of t is the expectation on n of t times f k of t f k is deterministic so the expectation operation would be on 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 n of t okay the expectation would be would be n of t and then as told so but we know that the mean by definition the expectation or the mean of n t of t is zero so this implies the mean of n k is zero yandandu branch lai yandandu branch lai hon noise mean zero no blank katarasa ያንዳንዱ ብራንች ላይ ጀነሬት የሚደረገው ኤንኬ ብናው ራንደም ነው ነገር ግን አቨሬጁ ምንውስዶ ዜሮ ነው የሚጠራው አቨሬጁ ወይ ሚን ዜሮ አንድ ሁለተኛ ኤንኬ ጋውሻን ኮበነ ዲስትሪቢዩሽን ልክ ከሚኑ ያለው ዲቪዮሽን ጋቨርነ ድም ይሆነው በጋውሻን ኮበነ የኤን ኦፍ ቲ ኤግዛክትሊ ኤንኬም በጋውሻን ዲስትሪቢዩሽን ነው የሚመረው ምን ጋር n of t tenestan n k distribution of gaussian no minu ya ye n of t minu mi katalo which is zero no mi katalo what would be the the variance of of uh, of okay ko uh, ikerta if if the mean of n k is zero now the next question would be how much would be the expectation of the mean of r of k so this is the expectation of s m k plus the expectation of n k and of course the expectation of m k is is zero so this would be s m k him you know how የኖይዙን ጉዳት የኖይዙን ለናጠና ነውና አሁን ጭንቅላታችሁ ውስጥ ተመሳሳይ ነገር ነው የሚላከውላችሁ አሁን አሁን ኢንትረስታችን የኖይዙን ኢፌክት የሚያጠፋ የሚቀንስ ኦፕቲማል ሪሲቨር ዲዛይን ሶ አሁን just assume that the same information ያቱ ኢንፎርሜሽኑን ራንደም ካረግ ነው ኖይዙም ራንደም ካረግ ነው ሌላ ሀሰሉስ ይገባልና 
ዲተርሚኒስቲክ የሆነ ተመሳሳይ ኢንፎርሜሽን ይላካል ብላችሁ አስቡ። እኛ ብንልክም ኖይዙ ግን ራንደም የሆነ ኖይዝ ይደምረበታል እየተደመረ ሪሲቨሩ ላይ ሆነን ስናየው ራንደም የሆነ ቬክተር ነው የሚኖረው። አሁን የኖይዙ ዜሮ ከሆነ ሚኑ የኤንኬ ሚኒም ዜሮ ነው የቬክተር አር ኬ ግን ማን ነው? የቬክተር አር ኬ ካየ ሚኑ ካየ ነው ኤስ ነው ኦኬ ሶ ዊ ስታርት ዊዝ ዘ ሚኑ ኦፍ ኤን ኦፍ ቲ እንድ ዘን ዊ ኮምፒውትድ ዘ ሚኑ ኦፍ ኤን ኦፍ ኪ ዊች ኤን ፋውንድ አውት ዘ ሚኑ ኦፍ ኤን ኦፍ ቲ ኤንድ ዘ ሚኑ ኦፍ ኤን ኦፍ ኪ ዉድ ቢ ዘ ሴም ሶ ባይ ዴፊኒሽን ዜሮ so the mean of r of k would be smk well well uh, we are not going to do the proof but the variance of n of k uh, would be the same as the variance of of n of t we got conclude mazahful ay tasartun variance of n of k is the same as variance of n of t in other words the the mean and the variance of the coefficient n k follows the mean and the variance of 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 n of t so now the question would be how much would be the variance of of r of k okay እዚኛው ላይ እናስተውለው ነገር so if n of t has a mean of 0 then n of k would will have a mean of 0 and r of k will have a mean of smk the variance of n of t would be the same as the variance of n of k would be the same as the variance of r of k min malet masala አሮፍ ኬን እንዲያርጋቹ አሱ አሮፍ ኬ ማለት SNK ኖይዝ ነው SNK ሁሉ ግዜ ተመሳሳይ ከሆነ ኖይዝ አለ ሶ እዛ ኖይዝ ላይ የሆነ ኮንስታንት SNK በመደመርና በመቀነሳችን R ባይማን ራንደም ነው የሚሆነው ለምን NK ሚካየር ስለሆነ መቀያየሩን ግን ካየነው ኤግዛክትሊ NK መቀያየር ይዞ ነው የሚሄደው ለምን SNK constant ነው የተደመረው እንኬ constant ነው የተደመረው ከዛው እጭ ያለው variation አይቀይርም so conclusion ምንድነው የRK statistics ካየ ነው random ነው ለምን NK random ስለሆነ የRK statistics እናዩ ጋውሻን ነው distribution ለምን NK gaussian ስለሆነ እንኬ so R of K gaussian distributed ነው ጋውሻን ዲስትሪቢዩተድ ነው ቫሪዬሽኑ በNK ነው የሚወሰደው የሚወሰደው ሶ ያ ማለት ምንድነው የR ቫሪያንሱ ከNK ጋር ኩል ነው ነገር ግን የR ሚኑ ግን በSNK ይወሰናል እንደ ማለት ነው አም ሶ ዳት ውድ ቢ ዘ ዘ ዘ ዘ ኮንክሉዥን ሶ ኢፍ ዊ ስታርት ዊዝ n ኦፍ t ሃቪንግ ኤ ሚን of 0 and some variance uh, sigma square someone done in the british admit okay so by definition if we start with a noise n of t with zero mean and some variance then this leads us to the fact that we will have a coefficient nk again normally distributed uh, again with zero mean and the same variance as as n of t and of course that would lead us to r of k which again is normally distributed however this time the mean of r of k would be s m k and the same variance as the noise and and and, and n k so that would be our our, our conclusion lemon r k malet s m k plus 
n of k no menalin malat no rk randomness in k n yosta ya randomness variation min ikatalal milon k n yosta ya randomness variance min imaslal milon k n yosta neger gin min demo k information yosta so ya rk min k n k information no yimeto ሌላው ቫሪዬሽኑ ወይም ራንደምነሱ ከአርኬ ነው የሚጠው ኤንኬ ነው የሚጠው ኤንኬ ማለት ደግሞ ከጀርባ በኖይዙ የሚወሰን ነው ነው but this is a very a very powerful conclusion what we are actually saying is the following if you plot the distribution uh, for for nk okay the distribution for nk would would look something of this type you zero min no you have a variation in or the rk distribution bin malakat ye qirz no telo neger gin min wede kimatal malat no wede smk la yimetal malat so this is uh for for rk Okay so if you plot the distribution of nk and and in rk that would be uh, the, the the difference here uh, powerful conclusion no kazi wala nagaru chi fetna n random no noise random no basu mikinat r random no basu mikinat correlate adergen menagenyacho coefficient chi yandallacho random nacho okay n random no basu mikinat received we form r of t random no basu mikinat r of t project adergen yemenagenyacho coefficient r r k random no r k wustu demo gaften sinimelekat signal part wale noise part n k yalle so yezi che yandandu branch la yallechu r k yandandu branch la yallechu coefficient r k statistical distribution distribution sinayo noise man no sorry normal no minu smk no variance ye noise un variance yizo ikatalal ye mecharashaw te yakin hono what would be the distribution of the vector r yandanu branch line no ran okay yandanu branch line yalla so what would be the distribution of the vector the vector r we know that the vector r has entries or elements of r1 and r2 yale katala interest in yaregenu eyandandu branch statistics tenesten ye vector statistics men li hon ichilal now let's put the following factors amsali hulet argenu nusado nya maximum two dimensional modulation dress lai R1 እና R2 ን ካየ R1 እና R2 የተገኙት R of t ሁለት basis function f1 of t እና f2 of t ላይ project when correlate በማድረግ ነው ብለና by definition ደግሞ f1 of t እና f2 of t orthogonal ናቸው ብለና ስለዚህ እነኚህ orthogonal ከሆኑ orthogonal ናቸው ማለት correlation ናቸው zero ነው so in yandandach ahun hulet f1 na f2 orthogonal kohonu rn wasden hulet orthogonal functions le wasden projects sinarego yeminnagenyacho coefficient toch r1 na r2 orthogonal nacho ayin masasalu malet lemdo mayin masasalu mekinatum r bemayin masasalu basis functions le wasden project kadaregno andin nego ሁለት የማይመሳሰሉ ነገሮች ያለው ደግሞ ፕሮጀክት ስናረጋው ከዛ የሚመጡት የሚወጡት ነገሮች የማይመሳሰሉ ናቸው ዓለም መሳሰል ማለት ኮሪሌትድ አይደለም ነው ኦኬ ሶ that's that's one 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 fact ኦኬ ኮሪሌትድ አይደለም ነው ሶ ምን ማለት ነው አር የተፈጠረው vector r bar1 na bar2 kohona r1 na r2 uh, 
ራንደውናቸው በተናጠል እያንዳንዳቸው ዲስትሪቢዩሽናቸው ጋውሻን ነው እያንዳንዳቸው ራሳቸው ሚን እና ቫሪያንስ አላቸው ነገር ግን ስለዚህ ኮሪሌት ይደረግሉ ሁለቱ ግን አንድ ላይ ሆኖ ቬክተር አርን ፈጠሩ ካለ what will be the distribution of of r well we can use a simple identity that if you are given with a and b then probab if a and the probability of a and b is probability of a times probability of b given a and if a and b are independent then this would be probability of a times probability of of b right ihenu mihano so you start with r of t uh, r of t lito to logism what we have said is that at the output we have two coefficients r1 and then at the, at the output of the second correlator we have the coefficient r2 so these two would form the vector r r1 and r2 are random uh but they are uncorrelated why are they uncorrelated because of the fact that f1 of t is orthogonal to f2 of t okay because of the fact that two of the basis functions are are, are orthogonal would mean that each uh, output r1 and and r2 are are uncorrelated ታዲያ ምን ማለት ነው ሁለት አውትፑቶች አሉ ሁለቱም ራንደም ናቸው እርስ በርስ ኮሪሌት ይደረሉ ሁለቱ አንድ ላይ ቬክተር አርን ፈጠሩ r ማለት it's 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 formed from r1 and 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 r2 so what would be the probability that the vector r would be created the probability that the vector r is created is the probability that element r1 is created and the why why what the probability will be to not even to define r will be bar r ni bar event malet r1 na r2 na chwarun r1 and r2 would form the event the event r so how much would be the probability that the vector r or how much would be the likelihood of of the vector r the likelihood of the vector r is the likelihood of r1 and the likelihood of r2 r1 and r2 uncorrelated so hono the probability that a vector r is computed by taking the product of the probability of the element r1 and the element r2 that's it in mathematics this is how it is given given that a, a certain waveform is semi transmitted kedum biyallo sm itawakal balachu tenesu sun karalachu sm random noise random no kalin yewlet random o chetelay yew distribution yallachu random o neger yam tatal so given that sm is transmitted the probability that the vector r is created is is uh the, the 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 probability of 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 the vector r is computing uh by 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 given smk the probability of r k he yandandu branch mark yandandu branch lai no he demo product yemetaw independent and correlated when independent so that's it that's it
Your big son arms probability it all is no why do we behave you were eating it? So can do a set of actual yeah and random process distribution cut out new cut out parents of the tower as you are and Mr. Asavamu Ikala distribution cut out a distribution integrates it there are probability distribution no, but tell you your regional choose to your sudden integrate another probability. No probability. In probability, the more only even the girl in the girl in your children. Particularly, the girl in your even error. No, go halan na tapatalan. Go halan na wala. One na unda tulukuna ga kadi mo julay taro emio tao. Kadi mo julay taro emio emio tao. Vector R. Random now distribution Bazihim Maral Milano. So a Yandandu branch Gaussian corner. Well, this is a Yandandu branch like this is Gaussian distribution. Astau Sutalachu. Okay, Gaussian distribution with parameters mean SMK. Invariance eta square. Yo, yandan do branch line. Yo, vector R rumalat. Yo, abazu taralyal. Si baza inin yimaslal. Inin yimaslal. Ihe yo vector R distribution. Ihe gudi. Detail of Chunkas Vlachu, Statan Tatanda, Chutilu. I think to look on my left in the manor. To look on my left in the manor. Can I do random Nestanestan? Received the vector Arrand and Walvin. Soon projects in Aragoman having a choke of him to random natural and natural distribution that I command. Yeah, vector distribution was sending vector distribution on Kayeno. You go to Gaussian distribution on Bzeno. Which are Shayan equation, a Gaussian distribution on Bzeno. Bzeno in a hello color in the minor on a branch of one year modulation order room. We may branch of Bzeno. Lenya and we will let you. A hint distribution of open malati vector R. Ahun R. Kona walay si kon, error ala. Kona walay si kon, error ilan. Bilan even to define benar, ya error yung ano ro dulong na hal na tawlo katawal. Distribution mo sa gawto, integrate yung mara eksrano ni kono. Sila error ang bumi katulot klaso sila error ang sinumar, yin sarano min sarano na sa sabi yut. Well, these are couple of examples that you can explore. On 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 your own. Uh, I think without taking much time, the other variant of uh, uh, demodulator is a much filter type demodulator. Minimum is a left choice slab modulator. Okay, let me stop here. Okay, Pia Kalachu. Pia Kalachu. Sravulat takawi sawi tayin yalla chu tamari tayin yalla chu thank you finish razan mala saat nabara kama tuwa literara kounum lama blat magawat at chakara kadami nona luzu awo ish kide lam kize nora bamnus bas deka kerjam dorom Bagaim kata raga batikit saat satu sembilan kena garilam. So istilah subat Allah sulaman ini om. Abraham selakoyan. Abraham Abraham selakoyan am sekian lalu tiga kios kalu tiga kios kalah sulit kawan. Tiga kios kalah sul. Ash, selain 
ስለነበረን ጊዜ በጣም አሁን ሰግናለሁ አይ ቲንክ ኔክስት ዊክ ኤግዛም ነው የሚሆነው ኤግዛሙ ኤአይኪ ውስጥ ነው የሚሆነው ስለዚህ ሶስት ሰዓት እንጀምራለን ብለን እናስባለን ያ መሰረታዊ ጥንቃቄዎች እንድታረጉ ይተባቃል ኢሜሉ ላይ ጽፈዋለሁ እያንዳንዱ ሰው ማስክ ማድረግ ግዴታ ነው ሳኒታይዘር ማያዝ ግዴታ ነው በትሽሉ ወረቀት ቦርሳ ነው ይዛችሁ ባትመጡ ጥሩ ነው ባትመጡ ጥሩ ነው ዞሮ ዞሮ ቁጥራችሁትን ስለሆነ ሰፋፊ ሮም ይችላሉ የሚያሰጋ ምንም ነገር የለም እንግዲህ ይዛው ሰይበለን ይመጣል